Hello and happy Sunday. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate everyone being here. It seems like it has been such a long time since I went live on a Sunday. Last weekend, we went to Long Island for my granddaughter's um, graduation party. And it just seems like it's been so long. <clears throat> so I'm going to use Artistically Inked today. And we're going to create a simple card. And then we're going to stamp it, uh, step it up for a stepped up Sunday card. Okay. All right. So we're going to use some, hey, Karen. Hello. We're going to use soft sea foam, and we're going to also use Coastal Cabana, okay? And, of course, basic white. Just make sure I have everything here. Yep. All right. So, we're going to start off with a piece of soft sea foam, and it's eight and a half by five and a half, and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. And I'm going to hold my card landscaped. Let's see if I can straighten this out a little bit. That's a little better. All right, then we're going to layer it up, of course. And I'm going to layer it with Coastal Cabana. And this measures five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And I am going to grab some liquid glue. Of course, I don't have a lid on it, so I have to clean it out. And we're going to adhere this whoops, to the front of the card. I hope everybody's doing okay. It is hot as heck today here. I mean, the temperature is only, only... 85 but with the humidity it i think they said the real feel is 93. it is just brutal very very warm all right so i just layered that up and then i have a piece of basic white and this is five and a quarter by four. Now, I don't need a silicone mat today, but I am gonna grab a piece of scrap paper because we are going to stamp directly onto our the front of our card. And I'm gonna start out with our sentiment and I'm going to use some, um, Coastal Cabana. I'm just going to line this up so I have it on here straight. Hopefully we can stamp this straight. That looks good. And I am going to put hello. Um, let's put it up here. So we're going to stamp the sentiment right on the front of the card. Hopefully it is straight. And then we're going to take our beautiful flowers from the Artistically Inked. Make sure they are nice and inked. And we are going to decorate this part of our card. So let's just put one there. Um, I do have a piece of, mask, masking tape. I'm just going to lay that down and we're going to put one here. And then I'm going to do it again, laying this down. And we're going to stamp another flower right about there. 
All right, so we have our flowers. Let me close this up. Now I'm going to grab these three little flowers and I have some bubble bath. And I'm just going to add a few flowers to the front of this card. Let's put some here. So we're just stamping the front of our card. And then I'm going to grab some soft sea foam because that's the color of our card base. And we're going to add some leaves. Oops. So we're just going to ink up and fill in with some leaves. And we'll get some So it's just a very quick and easy card front. At this point, if you wanted to add anything to it, um, like embossing it or something, you could do that. I'm going to leave it plain because it is our Simple Saturday. And I'm just looking to see what kind of embellishments I have here. Let's use some butterflies. I have a whole pile of embellishments that need to be used, so we'll use some butterflies. And we'll grab just a little one. I'll put a larger one over here. So it's just very easy to add some embellishments. Good afternoon, good afternoon. How come stupid Facebook, what happened? I was a minute late, so I guess that could have been what happened. I was packing up some of my eBay orders and then looked at the clock and it was 2.01. I was worried I was going to miss my time again because that's what happened the week before, I believe. I've had this card ready or this little, see, I usually put everything in a little basket and I label it. And I think this is from two weeks ago. All right. So just very, very simple. Oh, okay. So for the inside, we're just going to layer it up with some soft sea foam. And this is five and a quarter by four. And then we have our basic white, five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. And this time, I think what I'll do is let's clean up. Okay. Oh, here it is. I was going to say, I just had my cleaner. What did I do with it? Let me just clean this up, make sure it's clean, and we'll use the smaller flowers. With our bubble bath on the inside. I'll use that small flower as my guide. So we just add a few flowers to the inside. Huh, I'll be darned. I guess what happens is if you don't um, hit all notifications when you're in the group, it does not show up. And that would be the only thing I can think. I think there's three little dots on the right hand side of the page and you can tell you know the group to let you know either some notifications all notifications i believe you have to hit all
All right, so we're just going to glue that into the inside. And there you go, just a quick and easy, simple stamping. The only thing that we did that was a little stepped up was we used some, and this is old, I used it a few times. We used some masking tape or paper to lay down on our original flower and stamped two on either side so it looks like they're tucked under. Okay. So there is a simple Saturday card. So now let's grab our thing, the things for our stepped up card. And we're going to start again with our soft sea foam, eight and a half by five and a half. And it's scored at four and a quarter. And we're just going to put that aside. Now, let's see, we have another Coastal Cabana layer, and we're going to hold on to that for a second, and another basic white layer. And what we're going to do is the same thing that we just did, but we're going to place our flowers a little differently. So let's get our Coastal Cabana. And I'm going to actually, no, we're going to keep it full. I'm just going to put one flower here. I'll put another flower here. Just the two. I'm going to grab our three flowers. I just want to make sure this one is really clean. So I'm just going to spray my pad. All right. So I'm going to grab my bubble bath again. And we're going to add some flowers using our bubble bath. So let's just put some there. We're going to put them all around. And we'll do one more right here. And then I'm going to take our leaf again and add some leaves. One here, put one here, let's get one back here, I'm going to put a little one back here, just a small little piece. Then what I did was I die cut, stamped and die cut two additional flowers okay i also die cut the leaf from the dies that go to this set in soft sea foam and i also die cut and stamped additional leaves and this is from the artistically inked dyes. Actually, they're called artistic dyes. All right, so we are going to add our leaf, and I'm not going to use the whole thing. Let's just use part of it. And I think we'll put One flower here in the corner, and we're going to pop this up. It's funny. I had this all planned, and then this morning I was like, I forgot how I was going to do it. All right, so 
It's been, like I said, it's been so long. And just as a reminder, the first clue has been posted oops, in the mystery group. So if you'd like to participate, um, it's ready to go. All right, let's add some leaves. I'm gonna add this one right here. And I'm gonna save this one for the inside of the card. And instead of you stamping on our sheet, I used my double oval punch. Everybody knows I love my double oval punch. So I have a piece of basic white. I'm going to grab my hello stamp again and some crystal cabana. And we're going to ink this up and stamp hello. So let's grab our punch. And punch that out. And before we do anything, I am going to grab a length of ribbon. And of course, I am going to cut it and use some glue dots. So I'll just cut that to length. Let's grab some glue dots. I took Sheeb out before um, my video, so Bill didn't have to worry about her. And oh my goodness, it is so warm. I walked back in the house and was like, thank goodness. To Whoever invented the air conditioner, God bless them, because it is brutal. All right, so I just wrapped a piece of soft sea foam ribbon around the bottom of the card. And if I would have thought before adding these elements, I actually thought about running it through the cut and emboss machine with a um, embossing folder. So you could do that. You could emboss the layer after you stamp it and then add your elements. It would look very pretty. Then we wouldn't have all this plain white around. You know, you know how I feel about lots of white in the background. I like it to be busy. And today I was, I got ready for tomorrow night and also started thinking about Thursday already. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. All right, so we created a little bow. I'm just going to grab a glue dot, and I am going to add it right there by the flower. I'm going to add it right there. Let's get rid of this. And we're going to grab our hello so i'm gonna add some glue to the scalloped oval and then add our hello oops let's grab a butterfly and we're gonna pop this up right on the front of the card
Yeah, I like the colors too. Nice soft combination instead of being so bold, huh? All right, so let's get our hello. Now we can pull in our card base. And I am going to use my seal to add that basic white layer so we don't see the adhesive through the basic white. We're going to center this on our piece. And I should scoot it up a little. Let's see if I can. And then let's pop this up onto the front of the card. Changes the look just a little bit. Now, if you get nervous about laying this on the front of your card because it sticks so quickly and you won't be able to move it, take some glue and add it to the dimensional and that'll just give you a little extra wiggle room we're going to lay this on the front of the card and that looks good and let's pull our Little butterflies back in. All right, so just a little bit different, right? But stepped up. And we'll pull in the inside. I think this is five and a quarter by four, and it is. And then we have five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. And we're not going to let this flower and leaf go to waste. So let's add some glue. And we're going to put this right in the corner. Does anybody ever watch the Law and Crime? Thanks, Karen. The Law and Crime Network. That's what I was watching before our video. Been watching about, um, I guess the trial just started a few days ago. The Border Patrol agent who's accused of murdering his mistress and child. It's so sad. All right, so there's the inside before gluing these down we could have put some of the pink flowers behind it right that would have stepped it up a little bit but it looks pretty just with that one flower Scoot it down just a hair. All right. So here we are, stepped up and simple. So just quick and easy. When you need something quick and easy, all you have to do is take out those stamps. Yeah, it's a new one, Karen. It just started, I think, four or five days ago. Very, very sad. We're trying to catch up because we don't watch it live because it's just, it's just too hard sometimes. So we're trying to catch up before um, it starts up again tomorrow. So, so there it is. I will have a um, thank you. I'll have a blog post with the dimensions, hopefully by this afternoon. 
And I will see you tomorrow night at 7 o'clock for our Mystery Card Monday. So enjoy the rest of your day. Stay cool out there. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.